Howdy folks, welcome back. So I got a request to update the bow firing mechanism. So right now pretty much you click, she fires. There's no way to stop her. Once she goes, she's going to fire. So let's set it up to where... Did I hit record? I did. <laughs> Paranoia kicks in sometimes. But let's set it up to where you can click the mouse button and hold it. And she'll keep the arrow drawn, and you can click a button, and she'll put it away, all that kind of stuff. So it's a pretty quick update. So first thing we need to do is we need to go into the player blueprint. So I'm going to add two booleans. One is going to be called held, and one is going to be capitalized, because otherwise it bugs me. And the next one is going to be canceled. So I'm going to make... Um, my draw bow function uh, to where if we're holding an arrow then we can cancel out. So I'm going to add a branch to that. Check to see if I'm holding, which will update this from the fire function. If we're not, I want it to go straight through and do everything like it normally does. And if we are, that means we have a bow equipped. We're trying to fire an arrow, but we've changed our mind. So. When true, I'm going to call that cancel boolean and set it to true. And since we're canceling the fire, we need to undo everything that clicking the button sets true. So if you look over here, it changes can attack to false and fire error to true. So we can just take both of those, drag them up, put them in place, and reverse them. So now another one that Another thing that we need to do is we need to give it a short delay. 0.1 second seemed to work okay. You might want to play with that depending, but then we want to set our cancel back to false. All right, with all that done there, I'm going to go over to my firing function, drag out that new held boolean, set it at the end where we're telling we're firing an arrow, and set it to true. And then over at the main input function, where we're pressing the left mouse button and doing this stuff, I want to add a branch down here. And then on released, I want to see if we have an arrow held. And if true, then I just want to set it back to false. So with all that done, I'm going to go into the animation blueprint, because that's where the rest of this is going to go down. So if you highlight the mesh and you go into your animation, the animation class, and you click this little magnifying glass, it'll take you right to it. So a quick way to get around stuff is just like when you're, you're well, like that, pretty much. So in the event graph, I want to get those two new booleans. So I'm going to grab my cast to player and my try get pawn owner and copy it. I'm going to roll, roll over to my sequence node and add two pins. I'm going to paste two copies of the cast. Then I'm going to Connect them and drag them down. Kind of line them up. We should probably go through and clean some of this up in a future video. But for now, I'm going to get the first one, get my held boolean, and then promote it to a variable. Held. Oh, it. Did it already? Did it already have the same name? I'll find out. So I'm going to promote it to a variable. Uh, I'm going to get my cancel, 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 not there, and promote it to a variable. It is. Oh, that's cool. Used to be it would just say new variable or new boolean, etc. So I'm just going to promote it and then hook it up. That works. I like that. That's nice. All right. So now over in the state machine. Now we need to adjust a few things in here. So from the ranged combat, going into ready, this is when we've drawn the arrow and we're getting ready to fire. So once we cancel, we need a way to get back. So to get back, we're just going to create a new transition rule, hook up the cancel to it, and that's done. But now from the ready to the fire transition, we need to adjust the transition rule. So we only want her to fire once this animation reaches a certain point and held is no longer active. 
So I know I get the booleans confused sometimes, but we do actually want the and boolean this time. Because <laughs> we want to make sure both of these are accurate. And I'm going to drag out my held, get it, and check to see if it's not active anymore. And I'll hook that right there. So once the animation reaches this state and held is no longer active, it'll transition. So I'm going to go in and check it out real quick. Got my bow equipped, full screen for better visuals. And then if I click the button and hold it, now I've got my bow drawn. And then when I release, then she fires. Or if I click the button to put the bow away, then it cancels my attack. So I've decided I'm not ready to kill you yet. Haha. -ha. All right. What happened there? Oh, she had it. Okay. I thought something. I thought something glitched out. All right, so now we can run around. It looks a little funny because my bow is not animated, so the string just kind of stays there, but it, it still functions the right way. So, Or I can just click it real quick, and she'll go straight through the animation and then fire like she did last time or before. Or I can hold it. Bam. Bam. And then one more time just to show, canceling it out. So you can cancel it at any point. So, oh, I don't even want to draw the arrow. So yeah, all right. So now that we actually have the bow and the swords and the shields and all that, and that's pretty much all the mesh equipment that she'll have, then now we're going to start setting it up to where when you don't have them drawn, they still appear on her body. So as we equip stuff in the menu, it'll appear on her. So look forward to that in a future video. But for now, that's it. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.